Welcome to the first tutorial on navigations. In this one we're going to go over the HTML and CSS to code this navigation here. The first thing we're going to, I'm going to show you is the images that are used. The first one is the background. We're not going to use the whole image but just a one pixel wide image which will repeat horizontally. We're also going to use this divider image here to go between links and then in the next tour we'll use jQuery to highlight these overlays which will fade in and out but for now just those two so the first thing we're going to have to do is create an HTML document I'm going to use Dreamweaver for this and we're going to create an unordered list each link is then a list item in this unordered list and use the usual format for these links. And let's save this as tutorial one. So let's copy this link and change the text for example. Right. The next thing we're going to have to do is to link to an external CSS sheet. This is uh, the better way of doing it. So link val equals style sheet. Type equals text CSS. href equals let's call it style that CSS. Equals cool that. So let's create a new document CSS and save as style. The first thing we're going to have to do is add a bit of uh, a background color to the body and then a little bit of padding as well. So let's do that. Next we're going to style the unordered list. First thing to do is remove the standard patterns and margins which are given to an ordered list. So simple reset. Also set list style to none. This removes the bullet point from each list item. Next we need to put the background image, which I've already saved. Should be dark background. As you can see there, it's 40 pixels high. So repeat X top, and let's make the height of the another list 40 pixels. And also, we're going to add some rounded corners. To do that, it's quite simple now using CSS3. We use border radius, 2 pixels in this case. Uh, we also need to do two more variations for different browsers, which is Moz, border radius, and WebKit, border radius. If we preview that, it's good. Let's also make it a little bit less wide, so 600 pixels, let's say. There we have it. Next, we need to get the list items and make sure they're on a line rather than on top of each other like that. So let's flow each one left and add the divider image to the right side. Also add pix uh, a padding of two pixels so that the dark divider image here, the anchor doesn't overflow onto that. So I'm adding right to pixels. Next thing we want to do is the actual anchor itself. We want it to be the whole height of this list, that this unordered list. So to do that, we're going to have to, have to add padding. But before I do that, I want to change the font. 16 pixels, let's say bold. And let's change the family as well. Um, let's see, area.
Let's also remove the underline because we don't don't really want that. Okay, so the way the way I get the list, the anchors to fill the whole height is I'll put a background which is quite obvious, like fried, and then I can fiddle with the paddings, and it's very easy to know, you know, if it's filling the right space. So let's try 10 pixels on top, 10 pixels on bottom. See how that fits. Sorry, forgot to say, you've got to make a display block these anchors. Uh, that looks about right to me. So if we remove this red color and then preview in our let's see chrome. That looks about right. Now the next thing we want to do is let's change the hover color of the the anchors, which we'll do by doing hover. Stand highlight the link by doing white instead of C. And there we have it. Now there's one more thing I'd like to do is then that's remove this divider image, but only from the last list item. So to do that you use a CSS selector which is last child, like so. And let's set the background to none. And there we have it. A very simple CSS horizontal navigation. And the next show I'll go over the highlights and the overlays, which I'll use jQuery and we'll fade them in by altering the opacity. Thank you for watching. Hope you come back for part two.